Okay, the topic on this um, little video is going to be uh, commercial load calculations. Um, if you're familiar with AdTech uh, or familiar with any of our videos, uh, we've gone through whole house loads, room by room loads um, on the residential side. Uh, we also have another program called AccuCom, um, which is designed uh, for commercial applications. Um, as I go through this, you're going to see a lot of similarities if you've checked out the residential videos. Um, but I will point out some of the differences between uh, the commercial load program and that of the residential. As you can see here, we have a spot for customer information. We do have your design conditions preloaded in here. Uh, for purposes of this example, I'm going to be using Topeka, Kansas uh, with zero degrees in the winter and night. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, before we can, um, you know, on the, on the residential program, we can just start. We can go ahead and, and, and put in our room or our house dimensions. On the commercial program, it, it's pretty important to tell the program what time hour we're designing for. You know, are you doing 9 a.m. in the morning? Are you doing 3 p.m., 6 p.m. for a restaurant? Um, with the commercial application, we're not designing on an hourly average. We're designing on what time you want to. Um, to design. So in this case I'm just going to choose 3 p.m. I'm doing an office um, office area. So I click on room in my outline. As you can see I've already put in some dimensions of my building uh, 30 by 30 by 9. Now one thing I, I try to point out with everybody the envelope um, as far as your walls, your windows, your doors that is, is still somewhat important um, in commercial applications but it's not the most important. Um, Take, for instance, a comparison between uh, two separate 900 square foot buildings. Um, one could be a clothing store. One could be a, a, a pizza kitchen or a restaurant. Those two buildings are going to have two totally different loads uh, because of what's going on inside of that building. Yes, your walls and your windows and your doors and things like that are still important, but it's just as important what's going on um, inside that building um, as well. So here what I'm going to do, I'm just going to uh, throw in an office area or an office area. Again, I put in my building as 30 by 30, so around 900 square feet. Now in, in the residential program we're asked to put in occupants, um, which is the same with the commercial program, um, but what type of, of occupants are they? Are they doing factory work? Are they seated at a bar or a booth? eating a meal? Are they standing? And you can see the different cooling values um, that walk uh, or that go into place uh, regarding uh, the types of people. Here I'm just going to say we have 10 people working in our office area. I put in a quantity of 10. You'll see that takes into account um, my options for my occupancy. Now you're also going to see many other tabs here motors and you know obviously if we're doing an office we're not going to have any of that if I go to the computer tab you know if I have uh, five computers in my office I'm gonna put in a quantity of that um, I have a, a desktop copier that's running pretty much all the time I'm gonna put in that and you're basically just going through and you're tabulating those items um, that are in your office if I have seven large monitors and you'll see my cooling numbers are going to go up based on all of these items that I'm adding um, to my load. A small office printer will put two of those in. So you'll see I've put in computers. I've taken care of my people. You're going to see food service in here. You know if we have a, a coffee brewer uh, with no hood we're going to throw in one of those. Um, you're going to see a bunch of different restaurant supplies, fryers, broilers, uh, griddles, microwaves, things like that. Lighting, you're going to see a bunch of different kinds of light bulbs in here. We're just going to choose this top option uh, for ease of use. We're going to say we have 10 light bulbs uh, of that magnitude in there. Uh, and again, uh, a barcode printer, a crock pot, coffee maker. You're really focusing on things um, that are running nonstop. If we have a fridge in the uh, office area, we have a, a TV um, in the office area. So you're just going through and you're tabulating items um, that, that you have in your application. Um, and that's one big difference uh, between the residential and the commercial. Um, from there, again, we get really repetitive. Um, as I mentioned in the, in the residential, both the whole house and the room by room, 
we get really repetitive in terms of adding the the walls, the windows, the doors. We just have to tell it what types of wall we have. Once it stops us, we can come down here and say, okay, we have a wall length of 30 feet, and that's a north wall. Now, since my building is square or rectangular, in this case it's square, 30 by 30, I can click on add block load walls. It's going to add the rest of my walls for me um, in my load. So if you do have a square or rectangular house, even in the residential or the commercial, um, it will allow you to use that feature to save time. If I come up here to the east wall, I can go ahead and add a window. What type of window do we have? Once we give it a type, we can come down and say, okay, I have a 4x4 four four window. I add a window. I add another window. Now that east wall has three windows. If I come down here to the south wall, I go ahead and add a door. Um, doors are another thing that's different between the residential and the commercial. We have to tell it what type of door we have. Not only that, but how many times are people walking in and out of this door? Um, in this case, if we're in a little mini mall or uh, and the door's not connected to outside temps, you wouldn't put that in. That wouldn't make it that much of a difference. Um, in this case, we're just going to treat it as a back door. We might have one or two people um, coming in, um, just that, that swing door every once in a while. Uh, two times per hour, which isn't going to affect our load um, all that much. I give it a size, and that will take into account on your load. So if you're doing you know, a restaurant, let's say Pizza Hut, for instance, where people are constantly coming in and, and, and picking up pizza, that will factor into your load as far as infiltration goes um, on that. Let's go ahead and put a floor on our, on our building. We're just going to put the floor on a slab, uh, no insulation. Um, and then our perimeter, uh, we're going to put in uh, the 120 based on uh, our exterior walls. Our ceiling, we're going to go ahead and put in our, our ceiling. Just a little bit of insulation. Again, we can copy dimensions. It automatically pulls in um, our dimensions for that ceiling um, as well. So again, as far as the envelope or putting in your walls, windows, doors, it's pretty fairly similar to our residential program. You do have the, the couple differences there uh, with what's going on inside of the application. Is it a restaurant? Is it a church? Is it, is it a clothing outlet? Um, Etc. A um, few steps here before we can look at a report on our load. Infiltration um, is, is fairly self-explanatory. We're using the square foot method. Um, you're just telling the program how many sides of your building are exposed. Uh, and what type of, uh, of unit it is. In this case, we just have a single story, no fireplace. Ventilation, we already have the, the ventilation codes um, preloaded in here. So you can see if I scroll down here to um, uh, Dr. or Dennis office there, you'll see that. You'll see a bunch of different um, commercial applications. If I go to office building, I'm going to say I have 10 people in that building it automatically calculates uh, my ventilation code as far as the CFM. I can type that in there and it's going to give me my CFM. So if you're doing a church or you're doing a restaurant, sometimes it'll ask for square footage, sometimes it'll ask for quantity of people. You just follow the code um, and it automatically calculates for you. The last step of your duct load um, is putting you know, in commercial applications, we may have multiple supplies and returns. Um, in this case, I'm just going to put our ductwork in a conditioned area. Um, we won't have to deal with, with supplies or returns based on uh, whether they're conditioned or unconditioned. Um, in this case, I'm going to uh, say they're conditioned, thus I have no, no load. In order to total up our reports, we just click on Reports on the menu bar. And you'll see there's a couple different reports we can choose from. Um, and you'll see it totals up our system and then down here on our load you're going to see that we have the total heating of roughly 41,000 BTUs and, and a total cooling of 47,000. Now I have a 900 square foot building but you'll see my internal loads uh, is close to two tons and that's because of all my people, my computers, my copiers, my printers, everything that I put in to the load that was going to be a part of this office, um, that's the majority 
um, of my load in this this instance. Um, again, this program is called AccuCom. Um, it is commercial load calculations. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at 815-452-2345, or you can email us at support at adtechsoft.com. Thank you.